Dressing during a transitional period, and especially like fall into winter, it can be kind of exciting, but also a little complicated. And also as you're kind of not looking forward to shorter days and dreary weather, it can feel a little bit uninspiring and really tempting to just throw on a sweatshirt and leggings. And I definitely do that. I wear that all day every day and i'm trying to break out of that so in an effort to inspire myself and then also you i've put together some tips that i'm going to try to rely on this fall into winter in order to put outfits together that make me feel really great so before we hop into it though i want to thank m jemmy for sponsoring today's video we're working together again so i'll be styling some of their pieces throughout in order to illustrate my points and then of course i will link everything in the description box so let's get started so the first thing I want to go over in order to transition from fall into winter and help me create these really chic, polished, put together looks is to incorporate some sharpness. So sharpness and kind of structure in general, it feels a little bit more formal, a little bit dressy. And I talk a lot about how that feels kind of natural this time of the year. We have a lot of holiday celebrations and everything just feels a little bit more put together. So in order to do that um, in your styling and your overall fall and winter aesthetic, you can consider your makeup and you can maybe fill out your brows shape those out a little bit you can do a cat eye that instantly adds some sharpness to the look and that goes so beautifully with a high collar and some beautiful sweaters and then when it comes to your clothing you can add a blazer a jacket get that beautiful shoulder line and it's just a great way to kind of again tie it all together and then when it comes to your shoes of course you can look for a shoe that has some structure so for me where i'm living a pointed toe flat is perfect i can wear more open shoes, more open ankle feeling, and I don't have to worry about being too cold because it doesn't get that cold where I live, especially right now it's been warm lately. But if you live somewhere very cold, you can consider a pointed toe boot. Maybe go for something that's a little bit higher up the leg. And just these little touches are going to kind of tie it all together in a way that feels perfect for right now and really starts to tap into that more dressy feeling of winter. So the next thing that I'm going to keep in mind as I transition from fall into winter is to incorporate my tights into my outfits and use that as a way to kind of stretch the longevity of my shoes. So again, using the example that I have with the pointed toe flats, adding a pair of tights is going to allow me to have a little bit more warmth. It's perfect for where I live right now. And I can also then wear that with my skirts, my shorts, my dresses. And it also kind of transitions a little bit into the festive season again. And that's something that's so helpful to keep in mind during this time of the year, because again, keeping your wardrobe fluid and allowing pieces that you're wearing in the fall to transition into the holiday season, it's a really nice way to kind of consider your style. And so again, if you're using boots, you can do the same thing. And also another fun part here is you can change up your tights. So I typically go for something that's a little bit sheer. Really opaque tights have their place definitely in certain weathers. But if you want something that's going to look really, really chic, going for something that's a little bit transparent is perfect for that. And then also if you want something that feels a little bit festive, you can go for a pair of tights with some polka dots or some detailing on it. And it's going to take that same pair of shoes and make it feel a little bit different depending on the tights and of course depending on the outfit that you build around that. So this next tip is probably one that you've heard before. I know I've definitely recommended it but it goes beyond matching your belt to your shoes and instead considers matching your top to your shoes. So I talk about choosing your shoes and kind of reflecting the color of your hair. It's a really easy way to build out your shoe wardrobe but if you take it one step further and you want something that feels a little bit more thoughtful, a little bit more intentional, take a color in your palette that's not your hair color and then choose a pair of shoes that also has that color it continues that theme so your eye goes from top to toe it looks very put together very polished and especially if you're working with something like navy it's more unexpected than black but it's also really sophisticated a little bit corporate a little bit polished and just that perfect sweet spot and really great for the fall and the winter now, I wanted to quickly talk a little bit more about the difference between the tan and the navy color and why I wanted to include both in this video so when you're thinking about a classic color palette, tan and navy tend to coincide with that very often. And I think that both are really good options. For me, I find them both very versatile, but for you, you may want to choose one or the other. So if you live somewhere that's maybe a little bit warmer year round, or you have a color palette that's a little bit lighter, then you might prefer the camel color and find that to blend more seamlessly within your closet. But if you want something that's a little bit darker, but it's not black, it feels very, very sophisticated. Going for the navy can be a great option. 
option. And I think that both are really nice to consider for different times of the year as well. So I could get away with wearing these um, all year round where I live, but again, make sure that you're customizing this for yourself and take your color palette into consideration. And then also the functionality of the weather where you're living. And the suede on each of these is a great touch because it softens that color even further. So rather than going for something like a patent, choosing a suede is a really great way to kind of dampen it all, even um, just a touch, so that it still feels very classic. You get the essence of those colors, but again, they just feel like they're diffused ever so slightly. You can take a cozy navy sweater, pair that with navy shoes. If you want to take it one step further, go for navy pants, and it's just really perfect. One of the things that I really love about M. Jemmy is that they're comfortable straight out of the box, and as you wear them, there's no break-in period. I've been able to wear these instantly with zero discomfort, and each pair is really beautiful. They feature high-quality materials, and they hit that mark of timeless style and lasting construction every time, but they never feel stuffy, and they're very versatile. They also work exclusively throughout Italy. They produce everything with its high quality leathers and unparalleled craftsmanship, and that's passed down from one generation to the next. And you can really tell that because the silhouettes of the shoes are so thoughtfully considered. They're really elegant and again, never stuffy feeling, but really, really classic and beautiful. And then the last thing that I'm trying to keep in mind during this transition and to kind of get me out of the rut and get me excited about putting outfits together and something that you can use to hopefully inspire really put together outfits is to be mindful of my mundane outfits and kind of the day to day, the stuff that's not that exciting to get dressed for when you're putting together outfits for like an event or something, maybe going out to dinner, uh, something that you're kind of looking forward to. That's one thing. But when you actually are putting together outfits for every day, it can feel a little bit boring sometimes. And especially when it starts to get dreary, I know I lose all inspiration. So unless I'm putting together outfits for a video, I don't really step outside of kind of the same old, same old. So to get me out of that, I have taken some clothes out of my closet, kind of like a mini capsule, and I've isolated those on a clothing rack and I've selected some footwear to go with that. And that's allowing me to see it all at a snapshot. I'm able to remind myself of things I wanted to wear things I'm excited to wear. And then also when you're working with the shoes specifically, those are going to be functional and practical so that you're not standing in front of your closet, putting together a great outfit and then panicked about your footwear because nothing's comfortable and nothing's functioning with the uh, pants or the tops that you have. So being really careful here and just spending a little bit of extra time isolating like a skirt, a pair of pants, maybe a pair of jeans, and then being really conscientious about the shoes that you pull out and a pair that's going to go with all of that. It allows you to get dressed really quickly and something that I've gotten out of the habit of and I'm excited to get back into and hopefully can be helpful for you as well. So those are some of my tips for transitioning from fall and into winter and doing so with thoughtfulness and intention. They're things that I've sat down and actually isolated for myself because I really want to get into this. And the last couple years I've gotten out of the habit of kind of practicing everything that I recommend. And I really want to make sure that I'm doing it because I always feel better when I do. And when you curate your closet and you have a wardrobe that's really dedicated to your personal style, being able to actually use that is such a rewarding part. So I want to make sure that I'm doing that as well. So thank you again to M. Jemmy for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to link everything that I styled down below. I'm going to put my sizing and then of course the color information. In my experience, it runs very true to size and very, very comfortable. And like always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.